I was close. <laughs> Yo, she freaked out. <laughs> you welcome. It's about that time. Maybe I need to look for a baby father. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, having to get that surgery, not surgery. Paying like ten thousand dollars to get some sperm. That's a lot. When I can just talk to Chico, you know what I'm saying, or Deontay, Brandon, you know what I'm saying, and just be like, hey, um, you want to go half with me on a baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know how this works. I don't even know how you do that. But um, I'm going to have to find out. You know, my mom wants me to do it the regular way, but my mama got to understand that me don't want no ding ding, you know? Mama, you probably going to watch this because of the title. I don't want it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and welcome to the vlog. I think I'm vlogging. Oh, man, the times have changed. But what's up, y'all? So today, I got a couple things to do. I've already done some videos. I'm editing, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually, I put myself on a nine to five schedule. So um, in between that, I work out, you know what I'm saying? Get my, eat something, you know what I'm saying? Do some shirts, do some videos, do some editing or whatever. Now today, I have to take back that jersey I bought, which is a double X. I'm not fat no more, bro. And I ain't claiming it, okay? Um, I also have some promotion to do, and I also need to go look for some weights. And I gotta go to my P.O. box. I got so much stuff in my P.O. box. I got a lot to do, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get it done. But I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, say what's up to y'all, do my proper introduction. My introduction, okay? We're gonna get to this vlog today. It's raining, it's wet outside, it's gloomy, but we're gonna get it popping. You heard me? So let's get it. Let's start the day. Yeah. That New York shit nigga be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm about to go take this jersey back. Hopefully, they don't hit me with the we're in quarantine. You can get refunded. Blah, 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 blah. It might have corona. That's what she said. No time. Put it in the defected pile and uh, swap out my jersey. Yeah, I am. But um, I'm about to go do that. And then I have to go to my P.O. box. My P.O. box is all the way across the world from where I am. So that's going to be a long ride. And of course, I would love to just do this drive at 446 in the P.M. But um, anyway. That's what I'm about to do. Um, and then I'm going to show y'all what I got in my P.O. box. I recently ordered a lot of stuff. And I pray that my shirts are there. And I, they probably not. So I just got some shirts made. The logo is fire. Y'all going to love these shirts. You know what I'm saying? I only got 25 of them, I think. But I'm going to see how many um, he sent me, to be honest. Um, and then I'm going to get these shirts out to y'all. And then we're going to order some more. You dig what I'm saying? It's the it's called buy and flip. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm learning not to spend the um your re up money. It's re up with everything. Everything is in correlation with with uh with one thing when you selling multiple things if that makes any sense. Everything is like the trap. You know what I'm saying? You get twenty dollars for each product, you make sure you sell at least ten a day so you can get two hundred dollars. It's simple. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what I'm about to do and yeah that's it I think I'm used to the vlogging thing already you know what I'm saying I'm talking better I haven't said um I don't think but uh yeah I just said it oh! now the last vlog I had y'all said something about me uh, not having on a mask first of all I understand you know you got to be cautious with things that you do um daily uh i take ginger root um i make it out of a tea i also take my nutriburst i have chaga which boosts your immune system i have a lot of things that boost my immune system on a daily basis um to be honest with those masks you can't even breathe you know what i'm saying and honestly i'm not about to walk from my car to the mall with a mask on barely breathing i'm just not doing that um when I'm in the store, I had on the mask. You know what I'm saying? And I only had it on because they told me to put it on. 
I'm not I'm not saying that you can't get it. I'm not saying that I can't get it. I'm just saying I want to breathe. You know? I'd rather be able to breathe, bro. So, I'm going to wear that mask when I get in the store. But thank y'all for protecting me and loving me and wanting me to be straight. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. So, here's the mask. Jimmy Jazz always got a damn line, so you got to go in. The only way Jimmy Jazz is going to let you in, you got to have on a mask. And if you don't have on a mask, they charge you $20. They charge you $20 for a mask. So, yeah. That's why I got that on. I ain't pants went off on a mask. I don't know. 13. No. 14. No. 17. I was close. <laughs> Y'all, she freaked out. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I should have got a picture of her. Now I gotta put my mask on again. See? Look at me walking with the mask. I'm running out of breath. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that you can't breathe in the mask. And I just feel like that defeats the whole purpose. And the ones that's like blue, they even worse. I don't like it at all. But uh, now I gotta drive all the way across town to my PO box. But uh, yeah, let me handle that. Y'all wanna take this ride? I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of Atlanta, you know what I mean? My new home. Hey. Uh, y'all, I want y'all to know I simply just love Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I don't care for this traffic at all. But the, the city, like, sheesh. I love Atlanta. I'm so happy I came out here. You know what I'm saying? Came out here for several reasons. But, you know, Atlanta is definitely where I'm going to place my mark and um, become that serial entrepreneur that successful serial entrepreneur that i have always destined to be let me over that i've always destined to be you know what i'm saying and um it's already written you know what i mean and and that's it you know you have to manifest things you got to claim them you got to know what's real and that's it and you can't have any distractions and i'm just really done with distractions you know what i'm saying um life just too short you know you gotta you gotta put in that work man and you really these days you don't have time to waste you just you like not even one second i mean god you could you could go from having a good ass time i'm talking about having a great time you know lit, whatever to dead man dead and gone man it, it, it's just whew, it's ridiculous you know, you got to know who you around nowadays. You got to know who you're talking to. You got to know who you're working with. You got to know, like, specifically, you know. Um, and, and at any given time, if the energy is off, you got to go. Got to go. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just going to, um, you know, adjust my lifestyle for sure. Thought I wanted to be in a nightlife lifestyle, and that ain't, that ain't for me. That ain't hitting on nothing. I need to go to some of these museums. You know what I'm saying? Some of these theme parks and things like that. And just get into some educational things and, and start facing some of these fears that I have. Like going to iFly and flying up in there. You know what I'm saying? Versus, or like going to Tyler Perry Studios. You know what I'm saying? Versus going to a club, getting a section and getting drunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight. Look at this. Beautiful, man. I love Atlanta, bro. And Atlanta is black as hell. That's another part I love about Atlanta. But other than that, man, I'm I'm in good I'm in good spirits. I'm encouraged, you know. And it's it's just time to get to it. That's it. I have one thing in my PO box. So what did Juneteenth just really become a whole holiday? Which respectfully for us, it is a holiday. But to the PO box people, to to the to the USPS people, it was not a holiday for you. Where are my things? I didn't have to come over here today. I am so upset. But it's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, do my thing and, and uh, I'm going go back to the grip. Gotta get my head done tomorrow anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, 
That is so whack. I'm like pissed about that, but okay. So first of all, y'all, I uh, I told y'all I went to the P.O. box. Damn, there wasn't nothing in there. I went to uh, meet up with Amia, and um, we got something to eat or whatever. We had to talk about something. And now I'm on the way back to the crib. And, you know, I'm just thinking about, you know, how I'm ready to boss up and, and be a parent. I am ready to be a parent um, and I never ever ever thought I would feel this way but I do um, it's kind of crazy because you know for a long time I thought that I would not be a good parent you know um, I I was brought up well of course but you know I wasn't raised by the parent that uh, had me so you know, due to that, I thought that I would be a bad parent, and you know, I, I'm, I'm, I've been looking at children, and I mean looking at children like my nieces, my nephews, and you know, when I hold them and, and hug them and stuff like that, and kids love me, you know what I'm saying? It's really been on my mind and my heart to um, think about having kids, and you know, it's a beautiful thing. Um, my vertigo is definitely bothering me. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing because I'm having a change of heart. I can tell that I'm growing. I can tell that I'm getting wiser. You know what I'm saying? And my heart is becoming more pure. And that is a, a beautiful feeling, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely ready for the wife and kids, you know. But I don't know, kid might come first. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hell, I, I really need to just get a puppy, you know what I'm saying? But I know what puppies you have to take. You know, I, I feel like I need a pet, you know, to love on. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about a fish. And I ain't trying to get a gerbil. And I don't necessarily want a rat. And I don't necessarily want a cat. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of want like a little puppy or something. Something I can love on. You know what I'm saying? Um and give my love to and and uh you know see where that goes you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to try this i'm gonna have to try this i i feel like i'm ready you know what i'm saying and maybe i should babysit somebody child for a day or so <laughs> you know my my brother just had a baby, you know, I just had a niece, and uh, my sister just had a baby. She's um, probably seven months now, you know, and I'm really good with her. She loves me to death, you know, and my older nieces love me too, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I don't know, it's on my heart, and I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. What y'all think? What y'all? How y'all feel about that? You know, a lot of y'all have been saying, you know, I want to see a little neat running around and stuff like that. But I just, I had to get myself together mentally. You know, I, I can't bring a child in this world and you out here looking great. You know what I'm saying? I was out here looking great. So I didn't want to bring my baby into that environment. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in a different headspace, you know, and I, I don't know. at that time. Maybe I need to look for a baby father. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, having to get that surgery. Not surgery. Paying like $10,000 to get some sperm. That's a lot. When I can just talk to Chico, you know what I'm saying? Or Deontay, Brandon. You know what I'm saying? And just be like, hey, um, you want to go half with me on a baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know how this works. I don't even know how you do that. But, um, I'm going to have to find out, you know. My mom wants me to do it the regular way, but my mama got to understand that me don't want no ding ding, you know. Mama, you probably going to watch this because of the title. I don't want it. I don't want it. So, I have to go another route. You know what I'm saying? Um, But yeah, y'all, that, that was on my heart, you know. I'm about to end this vlog, man. I just, 
I vlogged all day. I think I did a good job today, you know. I just, and I'm gonna try and edit my vlog like easy. And, <laughs> and, and you know, I just want y'all to know that easy is an inspiration for me right now. A lot of people took my um, reaction style and they do reactions like me. And, and I was encouraged. You know, I just feel like, you know, that's what's up. Easy just adds a lot of music and a lot of um, a lot of extra stuff to her vlogs that I think is dope. It's like a movie, and I'm not gonna do it just like Easy. I'm gonna do my own thing. I always do my own thing. I'm just saying I want to put a little spin on it. You know what I'm saying? Get my Jake Paul on and my Logan slash Easy. You know? I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, man. Let me know what y'all want me to talk about. But becoming a parent, y'all might see a little neat running around here real soon.